All right, hello everyone. So uh, we're just going to take a look at the ES as well as um, crude to see what <coughs> what opportunities were available. Uh, these markets are motherfucker. Okay, everyone. So we're going to take a look at uh, crude and uh, ES. ES on the left and uh, crude on the right. So I have the daily, the hourly, and the uh, five minute ES. Then here I have the crude daily, hourly, and the five minutes. Really that simple. Above I have some indicators. Anyway, so what happened? Um, you see this chart over here. This is the five minute uh, ES. In the morning it gave a trade. What was the trade? It went down here, gave the change of behavior. Why? Rallied for 50 minutes, almost one hour, and took out these highs. <coughs> so <coughs> as the market pulled back, it was actually a pretty deep pullback. If your stop um, was right at the low, it would have been taken. So you had to put at least one tick below the low. So the market would have to do a lower low in order to stop you out. So in this case, it did a full test and then it just went up. So this was your change of behavior here. <clears throat> and then after that, gave two rallies. So the idea was really to get out right there. Because there was a level right here so the point is just to get out here and after that it pulled back and then did one more and then it gave a reverse uh sell it gave a sell right here with the biggest uh wave in 19 waves so you know at that level it tagged it and selling came in however the market is holding so this type of behavior, you know, so, some will work, some will not work. But this right here, right, it shows multiple attempts to break these lows. Because as you, you know, you have bearish uh, momentum in the background. So the idea is you have sell and then, you know, it's going to break, but it's holding, holding, holding. And you can see on the hourly how many times it tried to break. One, two, three, multiple and what do you get? Wick, wick, wick off the bottom, wick off the bottom, wick off the bottom. So this market is just wicking off the bottom. And uh, basically someone keeps holding it. So when this happened on this cell, at this point, right, when it went down, it was a test of former um, creek. So it bounced a little. Then it went down right here in this demand zone, bounced a little, retested that demand zone right right there and then it's ready to uh it took out the high and broke out not i don't really see it as a strong breakout but it just broke out above this high and then it just grinding 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 well every time it comes to this level there's some selling but they keep buying selling keep buying it selling keep buying it so unless these sell uh, these uh sellers get out the way buyers are going to go and unless the buyers get out the way the sellers they they just keep failing you have selling, 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 buying, buying. These guys here, they keep buying. And then after that, when it breaks the high, they buy, they're buying the pullbacks. And um, so, I mean, I, I don't know where the sell is going to be or whether it's going to hold, but maybe it'll be up here. Um, possibly, I'm not really sure. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, all these wicks are telling me that they they keep buying the pullback. So they might just take out the high and, and go to a higher level, which I think is possible at this point. So I'll be taking a look at 45, 96, 75 to see if they're going to take out that level. Anyway, so let's move on to crude. Uh, crude. Again, give beautiful uh, trade signals right here. You had a really nice move, biggest in 19 waves. So I know that this is this is buying pressure. There's no like thinking or whatever. This is buying pressure and it breaks the high. What you got to do, get another pullback. Simple as that. All right. So this is this is buying pressure. And it's confirmed by other markets as well. So now it pull back and then it goes to this level right here. As it goes to that level, you have this selling. 
So although, you know, I can't catch everything with the indicator, but here is all that red. So this is a no-brainer trade. This is selling. You had some distribution, which you can see from the sideways bars with all the wicks. This is like um, a supply level. Where every time they go up, <clears throat> sellers push it down. Every time they go up, sellers push it down. So you do that one, two, three, four, five, and then six times it breaks below this low. And when it does that, basically it's because there's strong selling up there. It has followed through. The move is for 50 minutes. It's not a very big move, you know, because this move I think was a little bit bigger. But relatively to all of the all this wave relatively to multiple other waves is actually quite big. You see this, it's bigger than one, not this one, but then the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's it's bigger than all more than 12 ways except for this one and and the volume that came out on it was very telling i mean there's no there's no thinking here it's just this is selling all right you just have to detect like selling and and uh, develop intuition about levels and selling and this and that so it did that Pull back, try to do a fake out, break out to test this area. And this is where all those wicks and uh, sideways, this is where they are. And look what they did. Boom, break, break. And it, it, it trended right below this low. So this was uh, really good um, for crude to give two trades, one on the buy side, one on the sell side. The thing to remember is the ranges are small, right? So the way you trade a market with small ranges is understand that there will be multiple turns at support and resistance levels. When you have a trending market, is it has a bias towards one side and you just have to get in on the pullback. Most of them are break and test trades. In a ranging market, you need to play the edges or trade the edges. So they are, they are less uh profitable but they're more trades that's the trade-off in a trending market there are fewer um turning points but once you get one you get a big move in ranging market there are more turning points but they're smaller so anyway have a good uh rest of your day bye